Well, handholds on a boiler or a condensate system are there to seal the boiler, but also for visual inspection. Today on The Boiling Point, we're going to talk with Kevin Burke, service manager, about how to install a handhold. Welcome to The Boiling Point. We're here with Kevin Burke, 33-year employee of WARE. Real, fa real fast, Kentucky or Louisville? Louisville. Louisville. Absolutely. All right, you can see Long that I've got, I've got the Kentucky on today. Big rivalry here in Kentucky. He's a Louisville fan. I'm a Cats fan. Hopefully I don't get black stuff all over my nice white shirt. So, hey, we're going to talk a little bit today about uh, handholes. And, um, you know, one of the things that, uh, Kevin, when – you know, when we're out and we're seeing uh, handholes in boiler rooms or on condensate tanks, um, you know, is, is what do they do? I mean, what's this for? Richie, this is to hold water inside the vessel. Okay. So as far as holding water inside the vessel, obviously you can't really hold it um, with metal on metal. So there typically is a gasket that, that goes here. That is correct. There's different types of gaskets that you use that will actually do the sealing on the sealing surface inside the vessel. And, and I noticed that there's different types. We have uh, flexitalic, we have graphite, and then we have the tapagi um, gasket. So, and a condensate ta uh, tank will typically use what? A tapagi. A tapagi, okay. Which is a form of rubber. Okay, so these are, uh, the, the flexitalic is for a little bit higher pressures, higher temperature, as well as the uh, graphite. That is correct. Okay, yes. all right. Well, why don't we, uh, Go ahead and put the handhole in. We can at least show this to the, uh, to the to our viewing audience a little bit about how this actually goes into the condensate tank. This typically has this is a this is an actual ring. Yes. Um, that is not in a boiler. That right? is correct. Okay. Typically not found in the boiler. Okay. So this is a condensate system that that doesn't have pressure on it. Um, so on a boiler, obviously there is pressure. So things are a little bit different, you know, on the boiler. But as far as the install of this handhole, it's pretty much the same. Yes, it is. It's okay. pretty much the same format as far as installing. Now, one of the things with this handhole that I noticed is that the handhole actually, it, you can't put it in just like that. It has to be a certain way that it goes in. So why don't you uh, show us a little bit about how this works and um, then we'll go from there. Okay. Well, a couple of things that you uh, have to uh, do first of all is get the plug off. The first thing you have to do is make sure the surfaces are clean. You got to have a clean surface on your handhold plate and you also have to have a clean surface on the sealing surface inside the vessel. Okay. Typically you have to slide the you'll have to slide the plate into the vessel first and turn it a quarter turn. Then you'll take the gasket itself and you'll slip it inside as well to put on the plate without dropping the plate. Now, on the condensate system, this is a little bit easier if you drop the plate. In a boiler, it makes it a little tougher, right? That is correct. If it drops down inside there, you might as well go home for the day because <laughs> your day will be ruined. <laughs> Once you get it inside, then you will make sure your gasket is centered. The next thing is you have to install the claw and the bolt, which okay. will actually slide back through to hold it in place. A little bit different in this one is that this is a bolt and on others, there's a post. That is correct. On most handhold plates inside of a boiler, they will not have a, a removable claw and bolt uh, set up as this on this tank here, Richie. Okay. Typically what you want to do is you get it finger tight. You want to do an inspection. You want to make sure you can see gasket all the way around. You don't have any metal touching any metal because that will cause it to leak. Okay. Once you get it finger tight, you basically would take a wrench and you would tighten it another quarter turn. Okay. That's just to snug it down. I have to go just a hair more because of sight glass in the way. About like so. Then you want to recheck, make sure it didn't move on you. It's all centered correctly. If it's centered correctly, you should have a sealed gasket on your handle. Okay, now um, when things heat up um, and it leaks, what do, what do you do? If it leaks a little bit, when you start up and you get a little bit of water and heat, you can snug it down a small amount, but you don't want to over tighten. That is the worst thing you can do because it will actually put too much stress on the gasket and the gasket will prematurely fail. Okay, all right, so um, once you've got it all tight you can, and there's no leaks, then we're ready to roll. Right? We're good to go. Okay, well there you have it. How to get a handhole into a uh, condensate system as well as a boiler, um, but more importantly just what the handhole really is for. 
Kevin, thanks a lot for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Kevin stopping by with us today to talk a little bit about the handhold. Really enjoy hanging out with boiler veterans and talk a little bit about the experiences that they have. Make sure you check with the manufacturers on those gaskets on exactly what the tolerances are for tightening. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to that YouTube channel. And if you like our videos, please share them. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.